Ikler is a pretty interesting company with a really nice watch portfolio and I'm going to introduce you to this brand. This video is a kickoff video for a series of in total six watches I was able to take videos of and I'm going to show you over the next weeks. Hello and welcome to WatchMaxi's watch videos. My name is Axel and I'm glad to have you on the show. This is the kickoff video of a small series of about six videos I'm going to do about the watches of the Ikler GmbH, Ikler Limited, Archimede, Archimede and Limes. Um, this video is about the Ikler company, their expertise, their history. Really interesting, I think. Um, uh, there's one point I would like to clarify. I do these videos without any commercial benefit for myself. I didn't get anything to do the videos. I didn't pay anything to get the videos. I simply called Igler, may I get some watches and take some videos and they sent me the watches. I'm getting not, nothing, no, nothing is not quite correct. I got a giveaway. I got a, a key ring Archimedes. So this is all I got, non-commercial videos. Um, my channel is ad-free. I'm not a part of any partner program. I don't get any kit kickback. So nothing commercial in it for me, just for love. If you like it, if you like the videos, please subscribe. You can do it at the lower right corner, at the end of the video, at the upper right corner, share my videos. And now I would like you to introduce you into the Ikler watch case making specialist. Ikler is a German company with a very long lasting expertise in watch case making. They are a specialist in watch case making and they have been producing and still do so produce watch cases for many well-known watch brands and companies which do not want to be named. Ickler has an experience which has over 90 years and in the 90s of the last century, they decided to launch their own brand, which is Limes. I pronounce it the German way. And in 2003, a second brand was added to that, and that's Archimede, again pronounced the German way. In English, you probably would say Archimede or something like that. There is a third one, which I'm not going to touch in this video. This is Autran and Viala. As mentioned, Ikler is a case-making specialist with an over 90 year lasting history. Um, today, Ikler is owner-led in the fourth generation. Lisa Ikler, which was my contact over the last couple of weeks, and her father are in the company, and as far as I know, also the mother works in the company. So it's a really family business, and you feel this with all the passion they show, and they're really dedicated to what they do. I really, really like it. I show you right now a um, couple of case examples they produce, and everything's done in-house from the design over the manufacturing, prototyping, everything. A really, really great depth of the value chain. Ikla provides also the hands of the watches are made in-house. They have a laser cutting machine, so they cut their own hands. They have the technology to have temperature blued hands, everything in-house. Um, as far as I could understand, what they purchase from external partners are the movements, the crystals, and at least the leather straps. And everything else is more or less done in-house with an extremely deep value chain, which I do like a lot and which I really appreciate. Mm. Igler has two watch brands, which I would like to focus on in this video. These are Archimede and Limes. Mm. During the preparation phase of that video and my mini series, I try to figure out what is the distinguishing factor between the two brands. And I found out that is not an easy task. I talked to a couple of um, fellow watch collectors. We had an exchange uh, back and forth. What's the difference? How would you divide between the two? And no one was really able to pick out a 
precise point saying that's the difference and here we have it. That's typical Lemus, that's typical Archimede, Archimede. Um, we couldn't find out. Initially I thought I wanted to make up my mind on my own and I didn't want to ta talk to Ickler, to the producer and, and have their words in my ear. But finally I called Lisa Ickler and I asked her, so how do you differentiate between the two? And actually it is even at Ickler not totally clear how to distinguish between both. So if I had to say what the difference is, I would tend to say that Limes is a bit more up to Archimede, a little bit higher quality. They have um, cases which are a little bit more sophisticated and saying it's the dressier brand can fit in many purposes but Limes has a diver chronograph, a professional diver watches with up to 1000 meter water resistance so that's not a dressy watch. And Archimede is more to the mainstream side, carefully speaking. They partially use Miyota 9015 um, movements and the pilot's watches are closer to the historical pilot's watches. On the other hand, they have the classic line, they have the 1950s, they have deck watches, which clearly are pretty dressy watches. So it's Definitely not easy. Both brands have a broad and interesting uh, watch portfolio. And during I speak, I show you pictures of a couple of watches I will not touch in my coming videos. The watches I will touch in my coming videos, I didn't show you, not even as a teaser, because I'm going to do it in depth and detail over the next coming weeks. I hope you look forward to it. I do so. I hope I could familiarize the Ickler company a little bit and show you how important and how solid the company is. I do like them a lot and I do like the watches a lot, in particular since I believe these are high quality watches at absolutely fair prices. Thanks for being on my video. Look forward to the coming weeks. I do. Until then, cheers, access. <laughs>